Okay, here we gotta talk about Game of Thrones. The show has been great. You know, some people said they didn't even like the seventh season. How could you hate it? I thought it was awesome. Um, I guess people uh, are not satisfied. But it's true. It pretty much after this season they could have ended the show. There were a lot of unanswered questions, but it, after once season eight comes along, I don't even remember season eight, but I can imagine it's pretty bad. And they only have six episodes to end the show. Kind of sucks you have. Just six episodes, because this was ten. I think they really should have did a full ten. But they had taken a break for a whole year before they finished the show. So that's why it happened that way. Um, so season, no, season seven. Last three. Okay, East Watch. Um, 8.7 out of 10, 46,000 ratings. Does Daenerys de demands loyalty from the surviving Lannister soldiers. John Heed's brand's... Warning about White Walkers on the move. Cersei vows to vanquish anyone or anything that stands in her way. She's just an evil queen that can't do anything herself and just gives orders the entire time. If you watch the show, you'd see that. <laughs> it's kind of That's the whole point of it, to have evil people in it. Watch on HBO Max. I don't know. I think they offer in 4K now, but for a while they were offering in 1080. And a lot of Game of Thrones fans were pissed off. I can't blame them. Especially since I think it was during the time that the 4K Steelbook was first out or whatever. Kind of sucked. Okay, next episode, Beyond the Wall. Now these episodes towards the end of the season typically get a little longer. So a lot of these episodes are an hour and ten minutes. Or sometimes longer or shorter. John and his team go beyond the wall to capture a white. Jairus has to make a tough decision. 9.0 out of 10. 66,000 ratings. You're going to get a lot of ratings in the show, and that's good. The more ratings, the more accurate you know how an episode is. Is it good or is it not? Next step. Next step. The Dragon and the Wolf. Everyone meets in King's Landing to discuss the fate of, of the realm. In Winterfell, Sansa confronts, confronts Ira. <laughs> I can't say any of these people's names right. Like, Which um, she finally gets got home for several episodes ago if I didn't mention it. Sam reaches Winterfell where he and Brienne discover a shocking secret about Jon Snow. And I can just give the spoiler out there, Jon Snow is not a bastard. That's what they call him on the show, which is a terrible term, but that's what they use. Um, 9.4 out of 10, 66,000 ratings, HBO Max. So all I'm going to say is how should you watch this show? Well, there's a, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is you don't have to buy the steel books to um enjoy this show on 4K. You can buy the regular um version of it and you're perfectly okay. The problem with is is that you have to buy all the seasons on 4K as a pack, with the exception of the last. I think it's just the last season, season eight, or whatever it is. I have it on this shelf somewhere. So um. That's the bad news, is that you have, if you want the whole show in 4K, which you don't really see much of a difference, where I saw it move at all was season 6 and on, although most of it was in season 7. Just wanted to tell everybody that. Um, I got season 8 to watch though, so it's not completely over yet. Oh, and another thing, if people haven't watched it, haven't known, the 4K Steelbook, if you happen to try to buy it on eBay for an extreme amount of money, because I think it's at, at that point, it was extreme when I bought it, never mind what I, what it might be now. You're gonna don't do it. It's just don't do it because there's they've been known to have glitches on some of the discs. Luckily there was only one disc where there was an episode problem. So what I did was um and I had another problem, there was another disc too that where there was some kind of glitch, but it didn't show up on this player, it only showed up on another player. So maybe it was just the player was crap. Um <laughs> Just don't buy it because you'll have to check all your discs and you won't be able to replace them anymore. So don't do it. It's kind of stupid. That's what a lot of people do. They wait like years and then down the line they go on eBay and try to buy these big sets. Not a good idea. Buying a regular set's not even a good idea, but sometimes you have no choice. All right. Um, good luck, everybody. This is a great show, but it's about to take its downfall. All right. Bye-bye.